All right, so let's start with the first one. Triangle ABC is labeled on your graph below. They want us to rotate ABC counterclockwise. So which way is counterclockwise? It would be this way, right? That's counterclockwise? Yeah. Can you guys see that? Maybe not the best color in the world? Counterclockwise. Now, when you rotate counterclockwise, I think it is easiest to first identify where you're starting. So point A is 1, 3. Point C is two zero. And then point B is five two. Can you see all that? Is it too small? Where are we? So we're going to rotate 90 degrees uh, counterclockwise. So let me think, that end up over here. And one thing we know about rotations, or that I'm going to tell you right now, is that when you rotate the X so we're going to take this triangle and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees over here okay. so one thing to keep in mind is that in this quadrant everything is negative for the X positive for the Y negative positive and then what we're going to do is when you rotate 90 degrees, the X and the Y, they just change places. So A A, and I don't know how to do the prime symbol, A is going to be now 4, 1, because they change places. So every 90 degrees, you flip the X and the Y. However, in this quadrant, the x is negative, so that's going to be negative 4, 1. So then I'm going to go to negative 4, 1. And I'm going to make the new 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. And a is going to be right there. And that is not a circle. I need to pick circle. So then A is going to end up at negative 4, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. Okay, that's A, the coordinate for A. So I went from here to here. And then B starts here. And it's 5, 2. So if you switch the X and the Y, and keep in mind, so it's going to be 2, 5. Um, and I'll put that here. B. B is 2, 5. So all you do is you switch the X and the Y. However, in this quadrant, the X is negative, so that would be negative 2, 5. So then I go over here. And I go negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, put it here. So I went from B to B prime. And then C starts at 2, 0. 
you switch to zero and the two, right? Well, you switch to zero and the two. And then you change the x to negative. Well, that's going to stay zero. So it'd be zero, two. And so I just rotated it 90 degrees. From there, I can make my new triangle. And so I have rotated the pre-image ABC 90 degrees counterclockwise and I ended up with this triangle. So all we've done so far is we, we did step A, rotate triangle ABC 90 degrees counterclockwise and now we're going to do B, we're going to rotate ABC um, so they want us to start with the original triangle. Pay attention. Sometimes they want you to start with what you what you rotated. But they want you to start with ABC. No, I would leave it on there. And now I'm going to do 180 180 degrees counterclockwise. And we're going to label it as as a different image. So we're going to put two marks on there. So I'm taking triangle ABC. 180 degrees counterclockwise, it's going to end up over here. One thing to keep in mind is that everything over here is all negative. Negative, negative. And so when you go 180 degrees, every 90 degrees, the X and the Y flip. So it's going to flip twice and end up back where it was. So C C is going to end up being the so when you do 180 degrees the numbers stay the same um, except you have to pay attention to the sign so it's going to be um, it's still going to be two zero they stay the same. But then you have to pay, uh, change them both to negative. B Which one do I want to be? B B was 5, 2. It's going to stay 5, 2. Except they're both going to be negative. So it's going to be negative 5 negative 2 and C was 2, 0 but everything is negative so that would be negative 2 and there's no such thing as negative 0 negative 0 and 0 are the same thing so I'm going to plot these points. Negative 2, 0 would be here. Negative 5, negative 2. Would be there. Negative 2, 0. Already did that one. Ah, I did C twice. Yes. Okay. Well, I guess we could change one of those. So A was 1, 4. So it's going to be 1, 4, but both negative, right? So when I do a uh, negative one, negative four, it 
and go right there. We can make the shape. So I have um, moved point A, B, and C after rotation 180 degrees. Notice I put the double prime symbol just like they told me to use up here to notate the new points. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the original triangle 270 degrees counterclockwise. So it's going to go 90, 180, 270, and it's going to end up over here. Okay. So before we start, we need to remember that everything in this quadrant is positive for the x, negative for the y. Positive, negative. Now what's going to happen 270 degrees is they're going to flip to go here, flip again, be back to where they started, and then flip again. So 100 or 270 degrees, um, so x and y change places, x and y change places, then they change places again. So really all I need to do is take the 1, 4, write it as 4, 1, take the 5, 2, write it as 2, 5, take the 2, 0, write it as 0, 2. So for A, we flip the 1 and the 4. We got 4 and 1, but we know that the Y part is negative. For B, it was 5, 2, so we write 2, 5. And we keep in mind that the Y should be negative. For the C, it's 2, 0. So we flip those, and we keep in mind that the y value should be negative. So now I have a, b, and c. I'm going to plot them. So, so I have plotted a, b, and c, and then I'll connect the dots. And then it's going to be really hard to see, but then I would put the three marks for C, three marks for A, and the three marks for B, just like they said here. Let's see if we notice our pattern. So we started at 1, 4, 1, 4 for A, and then A went to negative 4, 1. And then A went to negative 1, negative 4. So 90, 180, 270, A became 4, negative 1. And then if they said 360, a would end up right back where it started at 1, 4. Because 90, 180, 270, 360. So notice our pattern. 90 degree, 1, 4 flipped. Another 90, 1, 4 flipped. Another 90, 1, 4 flipped. So every 90 degrees they flipped. And by flip I should say changes. The X goes to the Y the y goes to the x. Okay. Now let's go ahead and fill in the 90, 180, 270. So for B and C, I went ahead and filled in the table. So if you look at B, we started at 5, 2, then it went to negative 2, 5, and then it went to negative 5, negative 2, and then it went to 2, negative 5, and for C, it started at 2, 0, went to 0, 2, went to negative 2, 0, um, 0, negative 2, back up to 2, 0, 
And so I put all of that in the table here. And then there's rules that you could fill in. Um, so how do you do a rotation? And I think, in my personal belief, is that memorizing rules isn't useful. So we're going to skip that part. So if we have 3, negative 2, and we go 90 degrees counterclockwise, so this is counterclockwise, so it kind of helps to know where do you start. So you start 3, negative 2, you start somewhere over there. And then you're going uh, 90 degrees counterclockwise, that would end up over here somewhere. And so when you go 90 degrees, You just flip the x and the y, so it'd be 2, 3, and then you went from here to here, so they'd both be positive. So I keep them. For the next one, we're starting at negative 5, 4, so it'd be starting here somewhere. And now we're going to go 180 degrees counterclockwise, so counter would be 90, 180, end up over here. In this quadrant, everything is positive, comma, negative. And when you go 180 degrees, you just keep the x and the y in the same place. So it's still going to be 5, 4. But the first one's positive, the second one's negative. So you get 5, negative 4. And then what are the coordinates 3, 2? So 3, 2 would be here somewhere. Under a 90 degrees clockwise, so this is clockwise, so 90 degree would be over here somewhere. And since we want 90 degrees, the x and the y change places. And then we pay attention. The x should be positive, the y should be negative, so that would be 2, negative. So next we're going to draw the image by rotating this triangle 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin and then reflecting the image um, over the x-axis. So they want me to rotate it and then uh, reflect. Okay, so first, I might, for me, I might label those points. We're going to rotate this triangle 90 degrees counterclockwise. That'd be this way. So it's going to end up from quadrant 2 to quadrant 3. So all I need to do is switch the negative 2 and 3 and change it to 3, 2. But it would be negative 3, 2. So change those numbers, make them both negative. So that would be where S ends up. Change those numbers, make them both negative. That would be negative 4, negative 4. Change those numbers, make them both negative. That would be negative 1, negative 3. Draw my triangle. So, so far I have taken RST and I have rotated it counterclockwise, so that would be one quadrant over in that direction. Um, and now they want me to reflect it over the x-axis. So I need to possibly remind myself which one's the x-axis, be this one. So I'm going to reflect it over the x-axis. So this one's 2 over. So it's 2 up. So this one's going to end up 2 up here. This point is 1, 2, 3 away. So it's going to end up 3 points up here. 1, 2, 3. This point is 1, 2, 3, 4 away. So that's going to be four points away. One, two, three, four. And then I can make my new
So when you're labeling these, um, be sure to label these with the hash mark. I didn't do that because that would take time. But now I want you to try yourself. I want you to see um, what would happen if you reflected it first and then rotated it. Would you get the same thing? And so that's what part C is. So first I want you to reflect it over the x-axis and then rotate it 90 degrees. Would you get the same thing? And are they the same? Why or why not? 